So today what we're going to do is we're going to grow some runner beans. What we've got here is the seeds that we previously took. We took some dry seeds and just to ensure that they germinated much quicker, what we did was put them in this plastic bag, put some kitchen towel inside, put the beans in and just gave it a little bit of water and then closed it up, blowed some air into it. <clears throat> and just left it alone for a few days and now what we can see is that these seeds have germinated really fast let me show it to you here here we go here you can see they've actually got their roots they've actually started to shoot up so to be honest they could have been taken out a little bit earlier when they're about this big so they've got their roots, they've got the slight shoot has come up. Right now this is the perfect time to plant this into this pot that we have back here, this planter. So we're going to plant all of these. It doesn't have to be done like that, you can just take either some fresh beans, dry them and use those. And these are my own as well from the last harvest. You can just use some beans that are dry. So we're going to plant these as well. So. We're going to use this planter and what they need is they need a solid backing so they can actually go in between and climb around you can use railings um, a wall like bamboo sticks anything that gives it a bit of a backing so it can climb and grow really well as anything that you can use is fine as long as there's holes in the bottom so that water can seep out and no rot starts to actually form now we're going to fill it up with some soil We've got a lot of compost here get some good quality compost and actually start filling this up After you've put about five centimeters of soil in the planter, take some old um, dried up banana skins. You can use fresh banana skins, that's fine. What we want to do is rip these up and put them inside. What it will do is it will give a bit that natural initial boost of potassium, which will help plants grow really, really well. We're going to take these and just spread them out. Put them all in here. Over time, these will break down and it will feed all the soil. It'll feed all the plants as well. It'll be really, really good. What I'm going to do also is take some loose leaf tea that's been used. You can use tea bags as well. Just make sure you take it out the tea bags and just put the loose leaf tea inside as well. This is just all additional to the compost that you use. And now we're going to fill this up with soil all the way to the top. Now that we've filled the soil all the way to the top, what we're going to do is take these beans that we have, make sure you pop it inside, keep this bit upright, go about 10 centimeters apart and put one of these in. So you can use anything basically, you can either use a dry seed or you can use these ones that we've already germinated. Create a little hole for the rest, all the way across. I'm going to take these, make sure the roots are all the way down and a shoot that's already up, cover it up, another one here. When they're quite tall you want to make sure this stem bit is already out so it, it can take all the natural sun that it needs. Just a bit in front. There you go. And cover it up. We'll come back and look at these in a couple of weeks and we'll see how well they're growing. What we're going to do is just give it a bit of water as well. This will ensure that what we've just planted allows all these roots to settle in. These runner beans have now grown. There's a couple here. There's 
There's another one here. We can actually pick these now. Or you can leave them for a little bit longer. And what they'll do is they'll get bigger and they'll dry up. And then you can use use these to use them as seeds for next year. We're going to pick a couple of these right now ourselves. And use them in our food later on tonight. You can see the beans inside. There's quite a few in there, but you should eat the beans and all the body around it as well. It's all good to eat.